pedaling, that process of playing pedals along with the manuals is one of the most important aspects that distinguishes being an organist from being a pianist. It's essential for every organist to develop a fluid pedal technique. And now we're going to explore just a little more deeply about pedaling. You know, we write fingering in our piano scores with one, two, three, four, and five. It's very simple, but this process of fingering helps us to learn a piece quickly and efficiently, because if we follow our fingering, we do the same thing every time we practice. It's the same thing in organ pedaling. If we write our pedaling in early and determine all alone what we're doing in the pedal, we'll figure out what is the most efficient and most comfortable way often of pedaling. There are only four symbols to be watching for in pedaling, and two of them are identical to each other. For example, we have the V or inverted V. That indicates a toe being used. If it's placed below the staff, the pedal staff, that means use your left toe. Above the staff, use your right toe. Now, heels are written with an inverted U or a U shape or a closed circle. And again, placed below the pedal staff, it means your left heel and above the pedal staff, your right heel. There are different symbols that you can easily write into your score to help you determine your pedaling early on when you learn a new piece. It's important that we look at our feet, toes and heels, as a unit and try to share as equitably as possible the, the function of pedaling. There are some styles of music, like theater organ, where you may see an organist using almost exclusively the left foot for playing bass notes and almost exclusively the right foot for adjusting the swells or even a crescendo. But in classical and church-style organ music, the norm is to use both feet, toes and heels, as a unit and to consider them as sharing equally in all of the playing. There are various methods for pedal technique. One is written by Harold Gleason, who taught during the mid-20th century at the Eastman School of Music in Rochester, New York. Another method, also American, is by Edward Shippen Barnes. And yet, a more recent one is by Don Cook, who happens to serve right now as our Counselor for Education at the American Guild of Organists. Choose one or all of these methods. They all have something to offer. And then decide for yourself what are the best things that you want to retain from each. When starting to play the pedals, just like someone who's learning the bicycle and who would like to have some training wheels to keep them from falling over, I, I tend to consider as training wheels as an organ pedalist uh, the effort of keeping your knees and ankles together because this helps you to think of your feet together as a unit and when you play on the extremes of the pedal board keeping those knees and ankles close if not together helps keep your feet turned toward your big toe rather than your small toe and this will help your posture as you play on the pedal board. 